This here is my iPhone SE. And why is it here? Well, iOS 15 beta 1 has been released. And to my surprise, and I think to many people's surprise, this iPhone is still supported. So I was really shocked to see that. I uh, didn't expect that. And so, yeah, why don't we install iOS 15 beta 1 on the oldest supported iPhone. And that's always something interesting because you know it runs good on all the new ones, but on the very old ones, that uh, like the, the literally oldest one, how will it run? I have no idea. When iOS 14 was announced, I also didn't expect that this is gonna make it, but it did, and it runs it really, really nice. So I think on iOS 15, it's gonna slow down, especially on the beta, that's what I expect, but yeah, I mean, I'm honestly, I'm positively surprised that we still are, you know, supported here on this iPhone SE. I mean, it's freaking old, you know, it's it's basically a 6S in small. And those are the two oldest supported models. So here, fun fact, iOS 14 beta was also tested on this a uh, year ago. So I will do the same on iOS 15. <laughs> oh no, the profile is okay we need to remove the 14 profile kind of makes sense right yes oh a reboot is required okay let's do a reboot the ios beta is a pre-release software good to know that another reboot you serious? <laughs> how, uh, how many times do you want to reboot this thing? We got the iOS 15 beta software profile here. And now let's click software update. And hey, here we have it, iOS 15 developer beta. So we have iOS 15 installed, it's greeting us here, so let's see, yeah, okay, passcode, yeah, it has completed the update, good, yeah, accept, accept, and um, yeah, let's see what new features it has. Or hasn't, you know, maybe they removed some stuff. I can imagine they do. Um, and if it works at all. So, no, we're not going to configure Apple Pay. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, let's go. And um, let me actually just set it to English so it's nicer for you. The language is now English. And as you can already see... They redesigned here the settings interface, so they made it all a little smaller, um, which uh, definitely, you can take notice, uh, definitely that on, on the smaller screen here of the SEs, as you can see, 15.0, and, oh no, the coverage has expired. Like, this is only a hack to get her, like, from parts SE, so, anyway, um, Wow, that took up quite a bit of space. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so home screen is not all that different, of course. All right, location services are off. That's good. <laughs> so one thing they did when we look into the new features is they have the notification redesign. So in order to see that, I think, yeah, we have to kind of get a notification. The time of event, add. Okay, now we wait for the notification and then we'll, I guess, see how it looks like. I mean, that's the only way I can now show it to you. <laughs> well, there's also a notification summary, which I can show you. Oh, this is gonna be an informative video, I can tell. Um, then I have to focus. Now, I don't know how you set that. So why don't we go and look it up in the settings here. Focus, allow focus. That's a different focus. Notification center. Oh, yeah, there it is. Focus. No, not that. That's rotation lock. There you go. Focus. Focus on what's important. Sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
this is how it looks like. Um, yeah, there you, you know, didn't catch it. Okay, this is the focus thing. The spotlight should also now have some new stuff. Um, so let's just search for something, I suppose. Uh, of Mars, yeah, I guess. Okay, it's ch jumping to the safari, which <laughs> you can already see there's this new weird safari, which I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Here is the, now the URL bar is like on the bottom there. And when you put, like, when I put something in, it all goes to this full screen, which is weird. And it's on the bottom. And I remember Microsoft tried a similar thing in Windows 8 yeah, with the full screen Internet Explorer. And it, I don't think anybody really wanted it. But here, yeah, maybe because it's Apple, you know, people will accept it. I find it weird. It's It's just not usual. Why didn't I put it on the top? I mean... It's not taking any more uh, any more space up here than it is down there. So uh, I don't know, guys. I really don't. And it's also like the features are kind of hidden, you know. <laughs> and this is something which is a um, a common thing on Safari when you have it on a Mac too. It's like super stripped down and simplistic, and they're all, all going for that. But I don't know if I'm really all that much of a fan. Because, I mean, sure, I mean, what's good is, and I told that in the keynote, you can use now the entire screen, which I find good. But I can definitely, like, make a sacrifice and sacrifice a little bit of my screen and just have the bar there with all the functions. Because where are they? We have to press here and there are, there are all the functions. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. I think you can get used to it. But I don't know, guys. This is... This is something that I'm not that, um, I don't know, not that convinced yet. But hey, that this is what they do. So, yeah, it's not terrible. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is all like nitpicking. It's working pretty smooth. I can see that. And I'm very glad to see that. So let's go to somewhere else here and see how it loads stuff. Oh, that was still pretty good, pretty smooth. Let's go to, yeah, where should I go? News. Let's go to the site. It's weird to see it's site in, in English. Okay, yeah, it's now German. All right. Yeah, switching between the things. That's working pretty smooth. Guys, I'm saying that because this is a phone which is the oldest supported phone, and it's from 2016. So, you know, it's not cutting edge. And it's running pretty good in Safari, pretty smooth, man. They got that dialed in there. No lagging and stuff. I'm sure we can bring it to lag when you open up more tabs, but that's kind of self-explanatory. So good job there. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this bar here, but apart from that, I mean, you can't complain. Um, new Safari is working pretty good, as you can see, switching between your things. Um, pretty smooth and all that. So, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. But, um, it's not what I actually wanted to try out. I wanted to try out some more Spotlight features, but I'm not sure if they work. Now, there's also Live Text, which... I'm, you know, eager to try out, but um, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be here. And, um, well, maybe I'm just too dumb, but I just can't find it anywhere. Okay, guys, um, it is actually the case that live text doesn't work on some devices. I don't know on which devices exactly, but it doesn't work on this one. Uh, maybe you need higher end hardware, maybe Apple claims you need it, but hey, they removed it. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Um, would be nice if they included it, but uh, yeah, this is this is what they did. I cannot show you FaceTime, obviously, the new FaceTime, which is basically just the... 
it's basically just a glorified like Zoom or it's just like any other communicating video communicating service nowadays so it's not that all that interesting I'd say and yeah I mean the new iMessage I don't know what else is new in iMessage the thing is I know iMessage is really popular in US but here in Europe at least in Austria not so many people use it so um, they tend to use like more WhatsApp and such so um, still it's not unpopular just I find myself not to use it all that much actually very little all right another new thing big update is uh, maps so Apple put in some cool features some cool new features that Google Maps already had but they put it in and I find that good so I don't know if I have Apple Maps installed here or did I did delete it maybe I don't know let's go to maps here see where they are maps oh I didn't delete it okay that's good <laughs> all right now let's maybe look up uh let's look up New York City I'm sure they have the features enabled in New York City or they're already available and then I can show you what they what they did Zoom in there. I redesigned that. It's looking a little more fancy now. Um, let's go into Brooklyn here. Yeah, and it's supposed to be much more um, sophisticated, much more detailed. No, I'm not looking for traffic. Um, just can't find any example here. Mm, maybe they didn't do it in New York just yet. Maybe on the, my, I'm on the wrong coast. Let's go to LA. And zoom in there. Let's get into here Manhattan Beach. And see if they have a crossing, maybe, or just don't find any popular crossing. So I'm not in San Francisco because the web page I'm reading the features off has San Francisco, so it's most definitely gonna be here something um very building we click on that as i told you gives you information about it and once again i gotta say this is beta one running pretty smooth on that old se iphone you see that it's looking pretty good very usable it's not like in the old days where when you had like ios 7 on the iphone 4 it would be a lag party uh, here it's pretty good, absolutely usable, very smooth, so not bad at all, and I it's, can only get better, right? So, okay, I think that's also a new feature, I suppose. I don't use Apple Maps, so I can't tell you that, but I cannot find a crossing. Let's do driving, Let's see what it does here. I think that's traffic information. Uh, <laughs> see what they can here. What is public transport? Well, you know, you all know how the crossing looks like. If, I'm sure you've seen a review or something. So, anyway, I just can't find it. But my verdict is runs pretty good. Runs very smooth. Absolutely usable. I mean, this is beta one, and it's so good. So. Yeah, I mean, there was a little lag bug, but hey, it's a beta. Okay, now, big new thing is the weather app. Let's look into the weather. And that loads a little longer. <laughs> okay. Look at that. It's like you, you can tell that it's just shrunken down from the, from the bigger screen, <laughs> but hey. Uh, um yeah i mean it's a little laggy maybe if we close that or stuff here it's getting better uh, it's not not all that great but hey um let's look up here zurich uh no that is munich munich why does it always go to munich <laughs> what the hell moscow does that work 
Moscow works. Okay, good. Um, it's funny how it's in German, though I said it to English. Okay, and this is the new weather app. Really sophisticated, really cool. Um, that's probably one thing I'm looking forward to most, like the the whole new weather app with the really detailed info. You can see all this stuff, all this in information. Feels like 17, 91% humidity, holy shit. <laughs> okay, well, but it is not smooth, so they need to improve on that. And uh, yeah, see what else we got. We got here the um, the weather uh, like map. No, I'm not sure if it's if it's working in Russia. I mean, why should it not? We got here 17 degrees in Moscow, but if we go here, okay, air quality. Does that work? Mm. Unavailable. Okay. And that is also not available. Maybe Russia is the wrong country. Let's go back to New York City. This is Moscow again. What are you doing, Ab? Okay, this is a little buggy. Okay, now here we are in New York and the animation isn't working. It's frozen. I don't know if that's supposed to be, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> and see the map. Okay. Yeah, now it works. Okay, okay. Yeah. There you can see... Um, it's lagging a bit. It's not perfect. They, they need to improve that. Obviously, it's a beta, you know, it's not terrible. I find that amazing. I find that super cool. Awesome feature there. Air quality. Yeah, and as you see, this is a pretty useful app. That's probably one I'm looking forward to most. Pretty cool. Now, they also did some improvements and some new features in the health app, but I don't really use that. So yeah, 13 steps, wow, huh? Um, not really accurate, so I can't really show you anything new there. Translate and conversation. Hello, how you doing, mate? <laughs> I'm doing great, mate. Yeah. Now something useful for once, please. <laughs> I think this was already there before, but I could be wrong, guys. Okay, yeah, so this is my little, uh, well, first test, like, hands-on on the, on the iOS 15 beta 1 on the iPhone SE and yeah it's pretty cool though um, it has some features missing like the live text that's not working or it's not supported or it's not there and also the, um, the visual lookup like I didn't get it to work so maybe I'm doing something wrong or it just doesn't it, it's not um, supported either. I mean, this is obviously a coffee, but yeah, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, it, it, you can't do anything, you know what I mean? Maybe I just can't find it, but it's the same was on, on live text, it's, it's, here is like HTC written, here is, here is quite clearly a text, but yeah, so I suppose this is not... It's not working on this phone, but that's fine. That's really fine. I can feel it's it's hot, but that's to be expected. I mean, this is beta one, guys. Beta one. Uh, can you believe that? And it's running so smooth. Like, you could use this. I, I mean it. You could, you could really use it. Yeah, guys. So, this is it. iOS 15. I'm gonna keep it, keep updating it, and maybe it gets improved. I'm pretty sure it will. I mean, they always did that in the past. So, thanks for watching, and see you later.